Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the course on uh, biostatistics and uh, design of experiments. Uh, we have been talking about uh, various types of designs, okay, um, screening designs, various types of screening designs, okay. Um, one of them, the most important one is your uh, factorial design, then uh, we looked at uh, the fractional factorial design, um, that means doing a fraction of those uh, factorials, um, then I talked about uh, something called the confounding. Uh, then I also talked about the resolution, okay. Um, so, resolution 3 designs are not generally liked, resolution 4 or above are already liked and um, if you say 2 power 4 minus 1, that means 4 is the number of uh, factors or parameters you are looking at and this is a half of that. So, 2 power 4 is a 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is 16, half of that will be 8 experiments. So, what do you do? Um, 8 experiments is uh, so, you put the new variable d, new factor d in, in place of a, b, c. So, you have a confounding of uh, d and a, b, c, okay. This is a resolution 4 design because there are 4 terms and the design generator i is equal to a, b, c, d, understand. So, that is how you go about doing that. So, resolution 4 design, this is light, okay. Resolution 3 design uh, is not light. Uh, so, what do you do? 3 parameters or 3 factors. So, 2 raised to the power 3, 8 experiments, you do not want to do 8 experiments. So, what do you do? 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1. So, it is half of 8 experiments, you are doing only 4 experiments. So, what do you do? Uh, you replace uh, AB with C, that means AB is confounded with C. So, the design generator is ABC, I is equal to ABC and uh, this is a resolution 3 because you have 3 parameters and so on. So, you can, um, this tells you the uh, which terms are confounded, okay, and then it also tells you, allows you to make uh, your resolution, okay, this will be a 4 resolution and so on, number of runs. Um, so, and I also taught you how to do the um, calculations later once you have the results also, okay. Now, um, then we went into something else, the plaquette berman designs, these are also very good um, screening design. We can screen large number of factors in very minimal experiments. Ideally, if the factors are like uh, uh, 3, 7 uh, and um, 11 and so on, because uh, the, the design generator for plaquette berman designs are meant for 8 runs, 12 runs, 16 runs, 20 runs, 24. So, if we have one factor less than that, then plaquette berman design is very, very good because with less number of uh, experiments, you can get very good idea about the main effect. So, you have the design generator here, I taught you how to build up uh, these uh, tables, okay, the last row generally, I mean last row is always minus, minus, minus and you push these signs up and build up this. So, plaquette berman design is very good if you have uh, um, parameters, okay, like uh, 3, 7, 11, 15 and so on. If uh, the number of parameters is not that uh, slightly less, we can always call some of them as dummy variables, okay. Some of these columns can be called dummy variables, okay. This is taken from this particular reference. Then uh, we talked about Latin square design, this is also very important, useful type of design. Then I showed you the Latin square for 3 parameters, A, B, C, each operated at 3 levels. So, how do you represent that? Minus 1, 0 and 1. In a 2 level, we say minus 1 and 1. For a 3 parameter, we say minus 1, 0, 1, okay. And uh, here you can see you need to do 9 experiments. So, this will be 1 experiment, this will be 1. Second experiment, this will be third experiment, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, um, it is very nice Latin square designs um, for a 3 variable problem, okay. If it is a 2 variable problem, we can have a 2 by 2 Latin square, okay. We do not have to two variable problem, um, we can go even two parameter, two levels, two variable, we can have two by two Latin squares and so on actually. Uh, then comes another design, this is also a screening design that is called Taguchi designs. 
uh, traditional DOEs focus on how each level uh, or each factor, sorry not each level, each factor affect the output, that is why. Why is your output or the dependent variable, suppose I am doing a bioprocess like a yield of a metabolite or biomass, that is the output. Whereas in Taguchi design, he has looked at robust design and he is more interested in the variation, okay, uh, the loss function. So, he is looking at Taguchi, uh, that has developed designs looking at uh, them as a possible robust design and also looking at the variations okay, ra rather than the averages. Whereas, the uh, normal designs like your factorial designs uh, or even um, your uh, Plackett Berman, we are looking at average um, output, we are more interested in that actually. So, Taguchi design, uh, you go, there is a design selector is there, okay. This tells you number of parameters, this tells you number of levels, this table was taken from this particular reference, okay. So, this tells you the number of uh, levels, this tells you the number of parameters. So, if I have a 2 by 2, that means 2 levels, 2 parameters, there is something called L4 design. If I have uh, um, that table L4 is available here, okay, table L4 is available here, okay, this is called a table L4. So, we can pick up the, uh, so as you can see L4 and the 4 rands, okay, we can pick up this. So, we can pick up column 1 and 2, um, 4 A and suppose I have 2 variables, so I can do these 2. Okay. If I have 3 parameters also, I can take up this, so this will become like a confounding, okay. do you understand? Uh, and so on. So, if you look at this table, uh, uh, there, there are tables available like L9 table, L18 table, L27 table, they are meant for 3 levels uh, and so on. L16 table meant for 4 levels, L25 tables, 50 tables available for 5 levels. So, standard uh, tables are available, you just pick up and then uh, use it. So, let us look at this level 2. So, you have tables for L4, L8. So, we can do it for suppose I have parameters 3. Um, or 2, I can use the L4 table. If I have parameters 4 or 5 or 6 or even 7, I can use the L8 table, okay. Um, and if I have parameters uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, I can use the L12 table and so on actually. Okay, so the, um, uh, if you look at the L4 table, 2 levels, um, I can do a full factorial design, I can uh, if I maintain 2 factors, I can get a resolution 4 or I can do go up to 3 factors for screening. So, if I am interested in doing a screening type of work, I can go up to take this table and I can look at 3 variables. For example, this, this is the L4 table, uh, 4 rands, uh, this is for factor Y A, factor B, factor C. So, if I put A, B, C, then obviously it becomes a screening design. Whereas, if I put only A, B, I can do a uh, yeah, very good uh, high resolution, full factor, it becomes a full factorial design. Okay, this is the table called L4 table. So, I just blindly uh, do this, take the pick up the L4 design, okay, for 2 level and uh, if it is 2 factors, I put A, B, ignore this, if it is 3 factors, I put A, B, C and do the experiments accordingly. Okay, let us look at L8 design, that means 8 runs, this number tells you how many runs, 4, 8, 9 and so on. So, the 8 tells you number of experiments. So, if you look at L8 design, 2 levels, if I have 3 factors, it becomes full factorial, right? 2 raised to the power 3 is also full factorial, okay? But if I want to do a screening, I can go up to 7. It is almost like your Plackett Berman, it, okay? Uh, if I want to get resolution 5, then I stick to only 3 factors. So, let us look at L8 design. This is how it looks like. So, either uh, I can have uh, less number of factors, okay. I can have only um, 3 factors, then it becomes uh, full uh, factorial design. That means A, B, C. So, this will become A, B, this will become B, C, this will become A, C, this will become A, B, C, okay. Or um, I can um, have uh, 7 factors A, B, C, D, E, F. 
I am doing 8 experiments. It is like your plaquette Berman design. Uh, notice that even here you will have the balancing 4 minus is 4 plus. So, you should always have a balance and orthogonal type of behavior. So, if I want to do a full factorial design, so I will uh, I can select this, I can select this as I said 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 experiments. So, I can select this, I can select this okay. then um, I do not select this of course, because uh, uh, this and this look same. So, I will select this do you understand that is why I select this column, uh, this column and this column. So, if it is a 3 factor full factorial design. Um, So, if I want to do um, screening up to 7, then I can go right up to 7. I can have A, B, C, D, E, F like that no? completely. So, I can keep increasing. Uh, so, 1, 2, 4, um, 7, okay. so I will not use 5 because 4 and 5 look similar. So, I can use this, I can use this, I can use this. Okay, then I can use this. So, like that uh, uh, because some of 4 and 5 like that now they are all similar. So, L 4, L 8. So, we can if I want to do a full factorial design I select uh, um, I can do up to 3 factors. So, that will become a full factorial design with their uh, uh, interactions and then if I want to look at uh, 7 factors also I can go it will be almost like a placket. Then you have the L 9 designs, L 9 designs are generally for 3 levels minus 1, 0, 1. Okay. Um, if I have only 2 factors, so it is 3 power 2 which is 3 into 3 is 9, so full factorial I will get. But uh, I can go up to 4 factors as a screening design, okay. so I can go up to 4 factors, so 9 runs. So, as you can see minus is 0 is 1, so this is at the highest level. Uh, these are the lowest level, these are the middle level. For example, temperature if I am interested in looking at 30, 40, 50 plus 1 means 50, My, uh, minus 1 means 30, 0 means 40. pH if it is 3, 4, 5 I am looking at, so minus 1 means 3, um, 5 is plus 1, 0 is 4 like that you know. So, if I want to do a um, full factorial design what I do is I will take um, 3 factors I can do. column 1, column 2 and column 4 okay. for screening design like that you can keep on doing it. you can add uh, many factors actually. Uh, then you also have these L 12 design. Um, so, as you can see here L 12 design 2 levels. So, we can use it as a screening design for 11 factors. So, I can put 11 factors here A, B, C, D E like that. Uh, so, I will do 12 rands this is almost like your placket Berman design ok, it is like placket Berman design um, ok. Only thing is the columns and the rows have been permitted, so they have uh, interchanged the columns and the rows actually in some cases. Whereas, in placket Berman design if you see at the bottom you will get always negatives right. So, some difference is there. So, last line will always 12 rand will always get a negative. So, there is a permit there is a um, switching over of uh, some rows and columns, um, but it is exactly like placket Berman. So, 11 factors I can use a placket Berman design um, and do 12 experiments or I can pick up this uh, uh, Taguchi table for L 12 uh, I have 11 factors and I can do a screening design. Okay. So, I have both the options actually I can take Taguchi or I can take Plaquette Berman for uh, 12 experiments. Then you have a L, so just like L 4, L 8, L 9, L 12 you also have L 16 table ok this is L 16 table ok. So, there are uh, 16 runs, so this indicates the number of runs you have 16 runs here ok. So, I can do a full factorial 2 raised to the power is a full factorial right 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 times. So, full factorial. Okay, full factorial will give you um, sorry, 
triple factorial of 4, uh, I can go up to 5 factorial and maintain resolution 5. Okay, if I want to do a screening design, I can go up to 15, just like your plaquette Berman experiment, right? 15. And then there are L18 designs, that means 18 experiment, 27 experiments, and so on actually. So, the advantage of uh, uh, the uh, Taguchi designs are there are tables available, okay. We can use uh, different tables for different, if you have the number, depending upon the number of parameters and number of levels you have, okay. If the parameters are less in that, what is available in the table, we can ignore that, okay. Um, then one important point is you need to cross check whether there is a balance and orthogonality taking place because any design you take, you need to have that sort of condition, that is very important, okay. Um, so, sometimes uh, it will look like uh, even plaquette Berman design, especially when you are looking at L12 uh, and go screening for 11 factors, okay then of course, it is like a plaquette Berman design. So, we have different uh, types of tables that is advantage of uh, um, this type of uh, Taguchi method. This is an L18 design, we have 18 experiments here, okay. This is at 3 levels, we have minus 1, 0 and plus 1, 3 levels, okay. So, the main advantage as I said is there are designs, tables available, uh, Taguchi has uh, prepared and given it. So, we can use those tables uh, directly and um, whether it is a two factor, sorry two levels or it is a three level, there are tables available. Even uh, see as you can see here two levels, three levels, four levels, five level, there are table level. Generally, we will not go four levels and five levels. Um, so, two levels, three levels, there are table available depending upon the number of parameters. There are tables for L32 also, that means 32 experiments you need to do. Um, so, you just pick up those tables and make use of uh, uh, for your uh, design. So, uh, we have covered lot of uh, designs which can be used for uh, screening the full factorial, the fractional factorial, the plaquette Berman design, the uh, Latin square design, the Taguchi design. So, all these are very good. Uh, Taguchi of course, you can mix and match and uh, use it for full factorial or even fractional factorial. Okay, all these designs are at uh, two levels, that means you can get a linear relationship between uh, if temperature varies from 30 and 40, 30 to 40, uh, I am measuring at 30, I am measuring at 40, pH um, I am measuring at say 3 and measuring at 4, okay, the effect of pH. Carbon concentration measuring at 1 percent and measuring at 2 percent. So, I am measuring at two places, obviously I can get linear relationship. So, if I am generating regression equation, I can get a linear relation. Okay, if I want to get non-linear relation, ultimately we are interested in optimization. So, in such situations, I need to have data at more than two points, then only I can get a, at least a um, square term, then only I can get a, a quadratic term, which is non-linear, then I can find an optimum maximum uh, yield or minimum um, impurity and so on actually, okay. In a linear, it is always increasing or always decreasing, monotonically increasing or monotonically decreasing, there is no optimum. So, um, initially during screening design, we do all the experiments at two levels, okay, whether it is 2 raised to the power n or 2 raised to the power n minus 1 or whatever it is, okay. So, we will have minus 1 plus 1 as your uh, coded um, experimental strategy, okay. We cannot uh, use the results we get. Um, to develop a second order type of model. We can use it to develop a linear model, not a um, quadratic model. So, uh, screening designs are used for uh, eliminating many parameters which are of no significance, okay. And uh, screening, screening designs can be used to develop a linear relationship. But if we are interested in developing non-linear relationship, then we need to go for second order model. So, when you start your design, you do not immediately jump into second order model, that is a very bad idea, uh, okay. Uh, what you do is, you do a screening design, you have 5 parameters, you do your screening design, come down to 2 parameters and then you do a second order design for those 2 parameters, okay. Because when you are doing second order design, you may require uh, um, the results at 3 levels, minus 1, 0, 1. So, the number of experiments also increases. 
because if you have um, experiments at three levels, you will be able to get a quadratic relationship. Okay? So, always remember when you start your uh, design experiments, never go for second order model, uh, second order designs, start with screening designs like uh, fact fractional factorial or uh, um, Taguchi method or uh, plaquette berman or even Latin square, uh, eliminate many variables and then do a detailed design and that is what uh, we are going to talk about. These detailed designs are uh, generally second order designs which can be used to generate uh, non-linear relation like a quadratic relation. Okay? So, these second order designs uh, are extremely useful in the later part we can use those designs for optimization. Uh, I want to calculate maximize my uh, biomass production, I want to calculate maximize my metabolite production, then we need to have a second order model or a uh, quadratic model. So, there are some designs in second order also, uh, one is called the central composite design, 3 k factorial design, box Benhan design. So, these are some designs, uh, many softwares, uh, commercial softwares uh, automatically will give these uh, information. Okay? So, it is not a big deal um, and um, I will also tell you how to go about doing that and it is very useful to do that even uh, using a paper and a pencil. There are other designs, quotial design, hybrid design, uh, we will not talk about it. Uh, the main designs I will talk about is the central composite and box uh, Benkin design. These designs are very useful and well uh, used generally uh, and well accepted. Okay. Uh, so, the second order designs of course, you have to have the data the at 3 uh, levels of the factors minus 1, 0, 1. That means, temperature at 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees. Whereas, when you are doing a screening design, uh, if you are changing temperature, you may do at 30 degrees and 40 degrees or 30 degrees and 50 degrees only. Uh, whereas, if you are doing a second order design, you will have uh, at three levels, so you will do a uh, 30, 40, 50. Of course, you may ask the question, can I do a uh, 3 power n raised factorial design uh, also, yes you can do that, uh, but you do not do is, uh, 3 power n um, designs uh, during screening process. Okay? Never, never, never do that actually, because the number of experiments increases, uh, you do not know which factors to which are of no use. So, during after screening you may eliminate some factors, then what is the point in doing too many um, levels of unwanted factors. That is why screenings we generally do it at two levels and later on detailed design we can do at minus 1, 0, 1. Okay. Uh, so, central composite designs um, okay, developed by Box and Wilson okay. and these are first order designs. Okay. Uh, with the augmented with center points and star point. Okay. So, um, center point is right in the middle and star points are outside this um, first order designs. First order designs are your factorial designs. 3 k factorial design fraction arrangement with k factors each at three levels. Box Bengen design, this is uh, also uh, almost like central composite. Um, but uh, the corner points are not used, so they use some other points. Okay, so we look at our each one of them. Okay, so imagine um, I have a factorial, two power three, eight experiments, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and inside eight. So for a two power three, it's like a cube. The parameter factor A, factor B, factor C, each one at minus 1 and plus 1 level. Okay? Factor A, factor B, factor C, each one at minus 1 and plus 1 level. So, it is 2 power 3. So, it is like a cube. In a central composite design, so in addition to these 8 places full factorial, we do experiments at the center point here. And we also do experiments at 6 star points which are outside this cube. Okay? Do you understand? So, 8 experiments plus 1, 9 experiment and 6 star points, these are there are 6 faces to the cube. So, there will be 6 star places which are 
outside the phase that means outside that means it is beyond the um, plus 1 level or below the minus 1 level they are called the star point. So, totally for 3 factors you do 8 plus 1 9 plus 6 15 experiments you will get you are actually doing experiments at 5 levels can you imagine uh, the one below the minus 1 level is 1 level uh, the minus 1 is 1 level the center point is 1 level 3 and then again plus 1 is 1 level and above the plus 1 another star is another level. So, 5 levels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, each of these 3 variables you are doing at 5 levels fantastic is not it at 5 levels, but you are doing only 15 experiments. So, we can fit nonlinear equations uh, for effect of factor A on your uh, uh, the output effect of factor B on your output effect of factor C on your output just by doing only 15 experiments that is the uh, beauty of the CCDs. So, we cut down ex number of experiments tremendously, but we get lot of information using this type of approach actually ok that is the main advantage. Now, how do you decide on the star points these star points are outside the um, the cube outside the phase of the cube. So, you will have 6 phases for the cube. So, obviously, there are 6 star points do you understand. So, there are 8 for the factorial there is 1 central points 9 6 star that is above plus 1 below minus 1 above plus 1 below minus 1 above plus 1 below minus 1. So, there are 6 experiments. So, 8 plus 1 plus 6 15 points each that means you are doing each variable at 5 levels. So, you get very good uh, idea about the effect of each parameter uh, or factor on your output and you can develop very good nonlinear relationship. It is even better than your um, 3 raised to the power n design because in 3 raised to the power n you are doing only at 3 levels but the number of experiments may be very high. Imagine if I want to do a 3 factor a b c at 3 levels a factorial it becomes 3 raised to the power 3 which is 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27 experiments whereas with 15 experiments with CCD I can get lot of information also that is the main advantage of uh, uh, the CCD ok. So, the um, I do the full factorial inside that means I can get some I quite a lot of idea about my interactions also. Then I do these extra star points and central point. So, I am doing each variable at 5 levels also. So, it is much superior to 3 raised to the power 3 type of designs do you understand. So, it is really good. Uh, the other one is the box Benham design. So, instead of doing at these corners. Uh, it does it at these center places of these edges center of the edge you know. So, this is what this picture is about actually. So, you do the same thing you do at the um, center of this cube, but you also do experiments at the center of these edges rather than corner of these cube ok. Of course, uh, uh, if the factors are 3 to 7 only it exists. So, it is not the corners it is doing it is doing at these uh, uh, edges center of these edges actually that is called the box and can design ok. So, if you have uh, uh, say uh, 2 parameter that is like your uh, square ok that is like your square and uh, if you are doing a CCD the 4 points in the square that is the 2 power raised to the power 2 the center point and um, if the star point is at the edges. So, these are the 4 ok these are called the uh, star points. So, when you are doing high medium low ok uh, medium is your 0 0 uh, so this is the design. But uh, if you ex you can extend this little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Okay, if the region of interest is more, so that way you, if I 
little bit, little bit you are ending up doing five level type of experiments. Whereas if you are keeping your star points right on the edges, you are doing only three level experiments for each of these um, para parameter or uh, uh, variable or factor, it will be high, medium, low only. Okay? So, if you extend it beyond, then you are doing it at 5 level, do not forget that, see this is what it is. So, if you are extending it beyond okay, those, those points, so you are doing at 5 levels, um, each variable is changed from this is level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. So, each variable is changed. So, here we can say um, the star point, if we call it alpha, if alpha is 1, those points lie right on this, whereas if alpha is greater than 1, they are up beyond this square. Okay? So, we are exploring beyond the square, that is what it is all about actually here in this type of design. And this is for a 2 by 2 raised to the power 2, that means if you have 2 parameters. Okay? Uh, how do you calculate this? Uh, what is the optimum distance for this? Okay? The generally, the formula is square root of 2 is the optimum distance. So, if this is uh, 1, okay, then this will be uh, 1.414 because square root of 2 is 1.414. Okay? That is how you select and then you go beyond that actually. Okay? That is how you select and uh, uh, so we have uh, 15 points. Uh, Sorry, if you have a, a 2 raised to the power 2, okay, we have 4 points here, central point is 5 and then we have uh, another 4 points. Uh, so, that means you have how many experiments? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 experiments. Okay, for a 2 by 2 uh, at 3 level, okay, it is 9 experiments. So, if you have a 2 parameter, um, uh, if I am doing a factorial 3 level, I can do 3 raised to the power 2 which is 9 experiments, but you are doing only at 3 levels. Okay? Whereas, here we are doing when I use a CCD central composite design, I am looking at each variable at 5 levels, 1 level, 2 level, 3 level, 4 level, sorry 3 level, 4 level, 5 level. Okay? Each variable is being looked at at 5 level. So, uh, CCD for 2 um, factor and uh, the number of experiments is same as the number of experiments uh, for a factorial design of 3 raised to the power 2, but each variable in CCD you are looking at 5 levels, whereas each variable in full factorial 3 raised to the power 2 you are looking at only 2 levels, sorry 3 levels. So, that is the difference. So, CCD will be much better than your 3 raised to the power 2 type of designs. Okay? So, we will continue uh, more about these uh, um, second order designs in the next class. Thank you very much.